good day viewers i'm okoye goodness amarachi tuberculosis is one of the common illness in our society today and i believe most of us know what tuberculosis is all about so we'll be discussing tuberculosis as our topic for today please and please don't forget to like and share our videos what is tuberculosis tuberculosis is caused by a bacterium called mycobacterium the bacteria usually attacks the lungs but tuberculosis bacteria can attack any parts of the body such as the kidney the spine and brain not everyone infected with tuberculosis bacteria becomes sick sometimes those infected with tuberculosis bacteria might not fall sick but they have it inside of them so as a result two tuberculosis related conditions exist we have the land tuberculosis infection which is the ltbi and we also have the tuberculosis disease which is the tuberculosis itself if not treated properly tb which is the tuberculosis disease can be fatal so it is advisable you treat tuberculosis on time so that it will not cause or generate thing in your body Tuberculosis bacteria spread through the air from one person to another. When a person with tuberculosis disease of the lungs or throat coughs, sneezes, speaks or sighs, tuberculosis bacteria can get into the air. So, people nearby may breathe in this bacteria and become infected. You see, sometimes when you cough as an infected person or as a tuberculosis patient, sometimes when you cough or sneeze, those sitting around you can easily contact this tuberculosis because each time you you sneeze or you cough or you sing or you speak tuberculosis bacteria the bacteria get into the air then those sitting around you can breathe in this bacteria and become infected so it is advisable as an infected person or as a tuberculosis patient anytime you want to speak or you want to talk or you want to sneak or you want to cough it is advisable you cover your mouth so that those around you cannot be easily infected the respiration is the breathing in and breathing out when you inhale you take in oxygen when you exhale you give off carbon dioxide so exhale which is you breathe out you give out carbon dioxide and those sitting around you can now inhale it as an oxygen so through that means they can easily contact tuberculosis so tuberculosis is not spread by shaking someone's hand no. so you shouldn't be scared that somebody that has tuberculosis when you shake the person you can easily get infected no tuberculosis is not spread by you sharing food or drink with the person no. so please don't be stingy with your food you cannot contact tuberculosis by sharing food or drink tuberculosis is not spread also by touching bed linens or toilet seats so sometimes some people are always afraid to to use the toilet maybe after um, a patient who has tuberculosis has used the toilet he or she will be scared of going to use that same toilet so tuberculosis is not spread by sharing toothbrush tuberculosis is not spread by kissing you see tuberculosis as a married couple so don't be scared to kiss your party now maybe when you discover he or she has tuberculosis because tuberculosis is not spread by kissing your party now whenever a person breathes in tb which is tuberculosis bacteria the bacteria can settle in the lungs and begin to grow from there they can move through the blood to other parts of the body such as the kidney the spine and the the brain so it is advisable you treat tuberculosis on time so that it will not cause another thing in the body tuberculosis disease in the lungs or throat can be infectious this means that the bacteria can spread to another people tuberculosis in other parts of the body such as the kidney or spine is usually not infectious people with tuberculosis disease mostly like to spread it to people they spend time with every day yes so tuberculosis is easily spread to your loved ones because you have you spend time with them every day this includes family members friends 
co-workers or schoolmates you see these are the people you see every day and the people you spend time almost every day let me not say almost every day or every day because sometimes you spend time with your schoolmates in school monday till friday you can see so you can easily infect that person with tuberculosis sometimes you spend time with your family members might be your mom your dad your siblings you can easily infect them with tuberculosis because they are the ones always around you most of the times latent tuberculosis infections latent describe a condition that is not present but not active or causing symptoms you see latin tuberculosis is just like a condition tuberculosis bacteria can live in the body without making you sick this is called latent tuberculosis infection then in most people who breathe in tuberculosis bacteria and become infected the body is able to fight the bacteria to stop them from growing why sometimes tuberculosis bacteria remain inactive for a lifetime without causing disease but in other people especially people who have a weak immune system the bacteria become active multiply and cause tuberculosis tuberculosis bacteria become active if the immune system can't stop them from growing when tuberculosis bacteria are active multiplying in your body this is called tuberculosis disease people with tuberculosis disease which is a tb are sick they may also be able to spread the bacteria to people they spend time with every day i've explained this before like i said the difference between the the latin tuberculosis disease and the tuberculosis disease itself is that people with latin tuberculosis disease sometimes they might not fall sick sometimes you won't even see the symptoms but in tuberculosis disease itself you can see all these symptoms and sometimes the person will fall sick like having uncontrollable cough so and they can easily spread it to people they spend time with every day most people with this latin tuberculosis infection never develop tuberculosis disease some people develop tuberculosis disease soon after becoming infected other people may get sick years later when their immune system becomes too weak for another reason for people whose immune systems are weak, especially those with HIV infection, the risk of, of developing tuberculosis disease is much higher than for people with normal immune system. A person with latent tuberculosis infections has no symptoms. I said it before. Why a person with tuberculosis disease has symptoms that might include a bad cough that lasts three weeks or longer? It can also have symptoms like pain in the chest, coughing up blood or spentum, weakness or fatigue. Fatigue means tiredness. Weight loss. The person, a person with tuberculosis can lose weight and no appetite for food, fever, sweating at night. So sometimes all these symptoms are symptoms of people who have tuberculosis. Sweating at night is also a symptom of tuberculosis. You can see at night some people they sweat so much even under the fan no, they are still sweating those are signs of tuberculosis a person with latent tuberculosis infection does not feel sick why a person with tuberculosis might fall sick tuberculosis bacteria to others persons with tuberculosis diseases may spread tuberculosis bacteria to others then a person with latent tuberculosis infections usually has a skin test or blood test results indicating tuberculosis infection why a person with tuberculosis diseases usually has a skin test or blood test resulting indicating tuberculosis infection a person with latent tuberculosis infection has a normal chest x-ray and a negative spatum why a person with tuberculosis disease may have an abnormal chest x-ray or positive spatum spatum is a marcus and other matter brought up from the lungs by coughing a person with latent tuberculosis infections needs treatment for latent tuberculosis infection to prevent tuberculosis disease why a person with tuberculosis disease needs treatment to treat tuberculosis disease healthcare settings should have a tuberculosis infection control please a tuberculosis infection control plan is part of a general infection control program designed to ensure the following they should ensure they should promote detections of infectious 
which is tuberculosis patients, they should ensure the following promote detections of infectious tuberculosis patients, about precautions and treatment of people who have suspected or confirmed tuberculosis disease. In all healthcare settings, particularly those in which people are at high risk for exposure to tuberculosis, policies and procedures for tuberculosis control should be developed, reviewed periodically and evaluated for effectiveness to determine the actions necessary to minimize the risk for transmission of tuberculosis. The tuberculosis infection control program should be based on a three-level hierarchy of control measures that include one, the administrative measures, the environmental controls, and the use of respiratory protective equipment. Administrative controls are the first and most important level of the hierarchy. These are management measures that are intended to reduce the risk or exposure to persons with infectious tuberculosis. This control consists of the following activities. Assigning someone the responsibility for tuberculosis infections control in the healthcare setting. They also conduct a tuberculosis assessment of the setting or conducting a tuberculosis risk assessment of the setting. Implementing infective work practices for managing patients who may have tuberculosis disease, ensuring proper cleaning, sterilization or disinfections of ensuring proper cleaning, educating, training and counseling healthcare personnel, patients and visitors about tuberculosis infections and tuberculosis disease. Take note of screening, testing and evaluating personnel who are at risk for exposure to tuberculosis. Covering mouth when coughing and respiratory hygiene. So it is advisable as a tuberculosis patient to always cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing. This brings us to the end of edition 1 of today's program. In the next edition, we will be discussing the prevention of tuberculosis in our society. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. I remain your favorite presenter, Okoregu Marachi. Thanks for watching. Bye.